Okay, so now we're ready to put the taper bearings on the spindle. This is the uh, first taper bearing, and this is its uh, matching cup. The matching cup goes in the spindle box, and I've kept the two together. That's going to go in there. I, or, I marked the spindle box uh, to show me which side of the box the um, bearing went. Shouldn't mix them up, but you never know. So that sits there just for now. This is going to go on using this long threaded bolt and a washer. The washer has the collars that sits inside the spindle. Like that. So that's the right one. The head will sit up against there. And the bearing will go down like that. Before I do, I'm going to pack the bearing with some grease. Uh, here I'm packing the bearing with grease. I'm going to use uh, marine grease. And I've worked the grease into the bearing surfaces like that. You cup it in your hand. And you work the grease into the bearing. So if you haven't got a, uh, a tool, do it with. So the bearing is now all the way home, and I'm now removing the tool, which is just uh, undoing these nuts. Uh, in order to clear the bearing, uh, these bearings are slightly different to the originals, a small uh, shoulder has to be machined on the spacer. On the lathe I just took a couple of millimetres off and went down about a millimetre and a half and that allows the spacer to clear the bearing cage rather than sit against it. You'll see there's a uh, the inner race the, the, um, that part of the bearing sits in a little bit further than the, than the outer race so in order to clear that you need to put a little shoulder on the um, plastic spacer. Now I'm now going to put the matching uh, part of the bearing into the casing. For that I'm going to use this tube and I'm going to try to pull it in with one of these uh, pullers. I found that if I put the flange in that way and knock the bearing in as far, uh, gently tap it in far enough I can then finish the job by putting the three screws in here and just gently screwing that plate down and I'm finding it's going down quite well. These are the original screws that hold the cover on. No housing. That's all it needed. Didn't need anything more than that. Quite simple. So, one out. Should just pop out. Which it does. And there's the bearing brace. This will make with that, like that. And there. Sit there. Okay. Okay. So. Now uh, I've now put the 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 um, metal gear inside the casing, as you can see there, on the shaft. Line the um, keyway up. The next step is to take 0.1 of an inch off that spacer, which goes on the outside, because the new bearings are a little bit fatter. 
So I've got to uh, remove 0.1 of an inch. And I've also got to trim this particular spacer back, take a small amount off so that it fits inside the, um, the cage of the uh, roller bearing, taper bearing, just like I did on the other side. So I'm going to do that now on the lathe. I've now trimmed the uh, edge of the, um, the spacer that goes on the other side of the uh, spindle box, this one here. And that edge there has to go up against the bearing, so it'll go in with the edge outwards. Yeah, and I don't believe the keyway on this uh, reaches uh, is important because the keyway on the shaft doesn't reach this spacer. Okay, so that's that bit. Now we're ready to put the other bearing on. <laughs> 